What's up, y'all? So I was just at the crib chilling, and I came across this crazy article. A former Snoop Dogg backup dancer sues him for alleged assault and trafficking. This is crazy. This is crazy because these claims are just coming out the woodwork. We got, recently we have uh, Chris Brown, and now we have Snoop Dogg. And I think eventually we're going to end up to the point where Every man from the 60s all the way up to probably 1995 is going to end up either in jail or dead broke because of these assault claims, right? This, this stuff is getting out of hand. Now, I've already read this story, and I've already formed an opinion. Now, I know that, you know, there are victims out there, and there are people who are victims of assault and abuse, and we can't, we got to be careful, right? We can't, we can't just jump the gun and, and assume all this stuff is BS because there are real victims out there. Now, with that said, the person in this, in this article ain't one of them. She just on some straight up bullshit, right? And I'm going to, I'm going to break it down paragraph by paragraph why I think the person in this lawsuit uh, is just 100% full of it. Now. Let's set that aside. Let's set that aside for a second, right? And I'm going to start off with something, and then I'm going to try to break it down later on in this article. Hold on a second, please. Sometimes people become victims, or sometimes people end up in a situation where they, where they were taken advantage of. Or they end up in a situation where a wrong was done to them. But the wrong that was done to them or the way they were taken advantage of isn't really illegal, right? There are situations like that, right? You know, you, you, you're in a situation where, you know, someone swindles you, but they do it in a way where it's not illegal. You, you feel jaded and you want justice out of that situation. Right. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, he said he loved you and you believed him. And as a result, you ended up, uh, you know, giving him gifts and all this money that basically added up to, you know, thousands of dollars. Right. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Is that illegal? No. Right. But he played you. Right. You know, so how do you how do you um, how do you get justice in that situation right you know because one of the only options is to go and like bust out his windows or you try to you know hurt him or you try to do something to get back at him but though the result of that is that you end up doing something illegal and so now you're in the wrong you know so there are situations where you don't have any choice because if you try to get back at him nine times out of ten it's going to be a situation where you're spending uh, you know, you're, you're, you're risking, I'm sorry, you're risking going to jail. And then if you don't do anything, then you just walk around with this chip on your shoulder of how this person take has taken advantage of you. So how, how do you, how do you recover from that? You know, so there is a way and I'm going to try to cover it towards the end of this article, right? You know, so let's just go ahead and read this silly ass article. It basically says Snoop Dogg is being sued by a former backup dancer who alleged she was the victim of a trafficking and assault by the rapper and one of his associates, right? According to the lawsuit, private mediation was attempted Tuesday and Wednesday morning the plaintiff's attorney, Matt E. O. Finkelberg of Derrick and Smith Law Group, filed a lawsuit in federal court L.A. immediately after, after talks failed. Snoop Dogg's attorney and publicist didn't respond Thursday to the request for the comment and Finkelberg also didn't respond. Gold Digger season is here. Be careful, new nephews. Keep your guards up. The rapper posted Wednesday on Instagram. And keep y'all circles small. The Super Bowl halftime show performer included emojis of a police officer, a bag of money, and a judge with a uh, skeptical face. One second, y'all. Uh, the incidents in question alleged occurred in 2013 to a woman identified as Jane Doe, who worked for and performed with Snoop Dogg's Real name, Calvin Brodius and other rappers, Don uh, Magic uh, Don Magic Wand, 
right? Or Don Juan, which is what I know him as, but Don Magic Juan, born Donald Campbell, and several of uh, Snoop's uh, companions also named in the lawsuit, right? So Donald Campbell is actually Don Juan, right? Follow me now, right? So according to the lawsuit in May 2013, Doe and a friend attended Snoop's dog show at the club Ultra Lounge in Anaheim. They entered the VIP room at the club and ran into Kemp Bell, Don Juan, right? That's Kemp Bell, because I, I actually read this uh, article early and I got twisted around. So Don Juan is Kemp Bell, right? So according to the lawsuit in 2013, Doe and a friend attended Snoop Dogg's show at the uh, Heat Ultra uh, Lounge in uh, Anaheim. They entered the VIP room at the club and ran into uh, Don Juan. We're not going to say Kemp Bell because they, they twisted this article because they want you to be on her side. <clears throat> but you met a motherfucking pimp. Don Juan is a pimp. If I, I forgot to bring this out earlier, but Don Juan is a well-known pimp. Yes, he appears in a few rap videos, but he appears in those videos because he's a pimp. And those videos by Snoop Dogg's and other rappers are glorifying the pimp game. So now, because of course of this, you've been... Uh, acting in, in videos and, and things of that nature, it's only natural that the industry would probably try to convert your image from pimp to rapper. And you probably have a video two of your own. I, I, I don't think I know of any Don Juan videos out there where he is exclusively rapping. The only videos I know of Don Magic Juan are the videos in which he's appearing with other rappers, right? You know, so I know Magic Don Juan is a pimp. There's no way that she shouldn't know him as a pimp. Um, I think they're writing this article to kind of hide that fact. But anyway, they entered the VIP room at the club and ran into Kemp Bell, Don Juan, Magic Don Juan, who allegedly later invited them back to the rapper studio. So you meet a pimp, and then that pimp invites you back to a rapper who basically, in his rap video, says he don't love them hoes, right? All right. Okay, whatever. So the friend left around midnight, and Camp Bell allegedly offered to take Doe home, or he can take you back, or I can take you back to my place. So your friend is gone, and 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 I really just don't want people to think I'm victim bashing. Just bear with me, because like I said, I've already read this article, and I've put the pieces together, and I've put everybody in their proper roles. And it, you, you just have to go with what makes sense. There's a lot of stuff that they're hiding in the article, but you just have to just pay attention to, to know that it's, it's 100% BS. I'm not blaming victims. I'm not victim bashing, right? All right. So you meet a pimp who offers to take you back to a rapper studio. And the rapper is basically known saying, we don't love them hoes, right? And your friend is gone. Now you're ready to go home. Uh, I don't know how your friend ends up leaving and you staying and you don't have a car. How did that work? That's another missing piece. Did her friend get taken home by somebody else? Or did her friend tell you, girl, let's go, whatever, and you decided you want to stay back? Like, how do you not leave with your friend when you don't have a car? This just don't make any sense. So there's they're, they're hiding things, but on the same token, uh, it's obvious that, you know, they're full of shit, right? So the friend left around midnight and you stayed your dumb ass there. Don't say that. And the camp bell allegedly offered to take her home or we can go back to his place. Right. That's what he's telling. And she basically asked to go home. Right. Then it goes on. Let me expand this. Doe fell asleep in the car. The lawsuit says and woke shortly before arriving at camp bell's home. Not her own. She was exhausted and fell asleep at his place only to be awakened around 4 a.m. The lawsuit alleges by Campbell forcing his business parts into her face and into her mouth. His business parts, right? You know, you if you can't see this, you need to enlarge the screen, right? So he's forcing himself onto you at this point. So I would imagine that you would say stop, but a lot of times people argue that they're in fear for their life. So we'll assume that, right? But he's basically forced himself on you at this point, right? Again, let's just recap. You met a pimp who took you to a VIP bar of a man who said he don't love them hoes. And then from there, you allowed this pimp to take you home. 
right? But instead of going to your home, you end up going to his house. And at this point, you don't say anything about you actually going home. You don't call the police. You don't do any of that. You just go into his house. Then you wake up in, in, in the morning with Don Juan trying to force himself onto you, which is basically assault, and you can be jailed for it. Let's see what happens next. Kemp Bell later urged Doe to put uh, this dress on and come with him to the taping of Snoop Dogg's Double G's Network. He allegedly told her he wanted to see if the rapper would make her a weather girl, and Doe says a lawsuit that she uh, complied in hopes of advancing her career. So does this story make any motherfucking sense at all? You're assaulted, right? You're assaulted, and instead of trying to find a way to get to the police to report this, you end up going to put it. You end up putting the dress on and going to a studio, right? You end up going to the studio in hopes that you're going to get something out of it. Now, this is important for two reasons. It's important for two reasons. I need to ask y'all a question at the end of this because it's important for two reasons because it's clear that she's trying to get something out of this at this point, right? So at the studio, Doe went to the bathroom with the stomachache only to have Brodius open the bathroom door while she was on the toilet. Ew. Ugh. Then enter and shut the door behind him. The suit says he allegedly removed his business parts right from its pants and he said put this in your mouth right after for afraid for her safety now she's afraid in her life she compiled the, she complied the suit says now she's afraid for her safety in her life she wasn't afraid for her safety when she met a pimp and when she went meant to the uh, vip room she wasn't afraid then and you know what honestly i can understand because some people would just see themselves meeting a famous person, a celebrity, and, you know, they're just having fun. No big, no big deal. But when you end up, your friend leaves, you don't leave with your friend, so you're not afraid for your safety then, right? Your friend is leaving, and you stay. Uh, another scenario could be someone else took a friend home, and you're, you know, just waiting to see whether or not you're going to get a cab home or if you're going to leave with Don Juan the print, pimp. Right. You know, so that's one scenario. Anyway, you tell him to take you home. He takes you to his place. You wake up and see that you're at his place. And OK, you're tired. You're not, you know, really concerned at that point. Um, there could have been a lapse of communication. You said home. He thought he meant you thought he thought you meant his home. OK, I get it. Whatever. So then you go to sleep at his place. You wake up and he forces himself on you. Basically, he could be jailed for assault at this point, right? And what do you do? What do you do? You put a dress on and you go to him with it to a studio in hopes that you're going to become a weather girl and get something out of it, right? So now that you're in the studio, you go to the bathroom because you're not feeling well. And, you know, Don Juan, you know, the creep, or I'm sorry, the pimp, he comes in and he forces himself on you, right? Let's see what she does now, right? Because she was afraid for her safety. Now, now she's at the point where she's afraid for her safety. Whatever. So after Doe was spotted by Kemp Bell, one, wait a minute. After Doe was spotted by Kemp Bell, one in the studio, he called her over to take a picture with the rapper. Then he took her out of the studio and the lawsuit says. So hold on a second. So he assaulted you uh, in that morning. And at that point, you... You, you basically don't go to the police. You don't report it to the authorities. You don't, uh, you know, go to the hospital and get an assault kit done. You don't do any of that. What do you do? You put your clothes on. And you go to the studio with them, right? So once you go to the studio with him, he then forces himself on you again. And at that point, you're afraid for your safety. Now, I would have thought after that assault, you would have gone to the authorities or you would have gotten some type of uh, kit done to prove that he actually did this to you, right? You don't do that. What do you do? You wander the studios. Now, at this point, 
I'm thinking this 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 woman is one of three things. And again, I am not victim bashing. Y'all know this shit just don't make no goddamn sense. So she's one of three things. She's either a liar or she is one of the dumbest women I have ever met in my life. In my motherfucking life, right? Or she is a third thing, which we're going to get into shortly. Right? Doe claims in a lawsuit she wasn't hired afterwards because she did she she didn't willingly and enthusiastically give Brodius um give him uh you know a oral massage, so to speak, right? She also alleges she suffered from various ailments since uh, the events, including anxieties, post-traumatic stress, depression, nightmares, sleep disorders, headache, emotional distress, and more. The lawsuit seeks damages in the amount to decide a jury trial. Wednesday was a big day for Brad. All right, we don't care about the rest of the stuff, right? So it looks along, it looks that some way along the lines, uh, she was supposed to take care of Snoop, right? Uh, Don Juan claims in a lawsuit that she wasn't hired afterwards because she didn't willingly and enthusiastically give Brodius uh, an oral massage, right? So there's a lot missing here, right? There's a lot missing, and I think it's made to be missing on purpose. We'll have to get a, a copy of the lawsuit. Maybe we can, maybe we can't, right? But there's missing. There's, there's things missing, I'm sorry. At what point was you supposed to give him an oral massage? Did Snoop ask you for that, right? Did, did Snoop come to you and say, hey, you know, if you give me this this BJ motherfucker, I'm going to give you, I'm going to put you on the show. You know, did Snoop come to you? Did he present that offer to you, right? Or is this just something Don Juan told you, right? You know, because there's a huge difference, right? And that's basically going to determine whether or not her lawsuit fails or succeeds. Because the article basically reads, a former Snoop Dogg backup dancer sues him for alleged assault and trafficking, right? So this article doesn't tell us that you actually, we got to actually get this damn lawsuit because this article doesn't tell us whether or not you actually gave Snoop an oral massage. And it also doesn't give us the details around that situation, right? You, you really need the details. And I think they are hiding something in this article, or it could be possibly that maybe the conversation was so, uh, what's the word I want to use? It was so blunt and bold that they can't print it. I doubt it. I doubt it because they print everything now. So I'm just going to go with that, that the theory that they're basically hiding something because Snoop would have actually had to somehow proposition you or ask you for this. You don't say that. Everything that you're telling us is coming from uh, Don Magic Wand. Now, how are you going to prove that Snoop was involved in any of this, right? Because it's it's Don Juan, who's the pimp, who's basically pimping you out, right? It's Don Juan, the pimp, who's basically pimping you out, saying, let's go to the studio. Snoop didn't invite your ass to no goddamn snoot studio. It's Don Juan who also took you to the VIP bar where Snoop was. Snoop didn't grab your hand and bring you over there. So how in the hell is Snoop in this lawsuit, to be honest with you, right? Because I, I really just don't see it. So here's the thing. All right, so this is what I've been holding off to say, right? Sometimes people can be hurt, but they have no legal pathway to basically get a person in court so that they can get justice, right? So what do you do in a situation like that? What are your, what are your options, right? I think one option is to actually file a claim against the individual. The claim may not be strong, but what you do is you think of everything that this person has done to you, right? And then from that, you look at the things in which you can sue him for. It doesn't matter if they're strong, right? It doesn't matter if your claims are strong. It only matters if you have some facts that you can put together to make the claim, right? And, and you guys, you go with me on this, and I want to know what you think on this. What do you do when someone has done you wrong, but... You can't sue them and you can't get them arrested. 
Now, most people would probably turn to petty revenge and they'll go and they'll break out car windows or they'll slash tires and or they will try to get the other person assaulted or they'll go and assault the other person. But that path only leads you with the possibility of being arrested, you know, for some serious crimes, you know, either property damage or conspiring to hurt or kill somebody. That's where that path goes. The other path is cut off, and that's basically going to court. So what do you do? People, let me know, what do you do? Comments in the bottom when someone has done this something to you, but you can't sue them and you can't get them put in jail. What do you do? This is what I think you can do. You think of every single thing that that person has done to you. And then what you do is that you try to see if you have facts and information that's going to support some of these claims. What you're probably going to end up with, if, 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 if it's gotten to this point, if this is what you're doing to try to, to, to bring a person to justice, that basically means that you don't really have strong claims, in my own opinion, right? So, but I would say it doesn't matter that you don't have strong claims because what's going to happen is that you really want to sue a person for issue A, but you got you you don't have enough evidence or there's no laws to allow you to sue them for issue A. So what you do is you sue them for B, C, and D. Now when you get to court, you can put all the issues on the table, right? If if you're slick enough, right? You can put all the issues on the table. You can put whereas in your lawsuit you're going to put B, C, and D, and you're not even going to put anything about issue A on there, but when you go to argue your claim and when you go to tell your story, you tell them about A, B, C, and D. You tell them about all that shit, right? You, you tell them about all of it. And I think that's what's happened here because at the end of the day, it looks like she was out to get something. And they basically, they basically played her, right? Don Juan basically played. It looks like, I don't know if they had a relationship before this, According to argue the article they just met, and basically you can see Don Juan uh, played her. He basically finessed her. He brought her over to Snoop Dogg's uh, bar, uh, VIP lounge, and then from the VIP lounge, he basically uh, you know took you home, right? And then you know he assaulted you, so you say, right? Uh, I think you just had an agreement to, you know, get down with, the, with for the lowdown. And then what happens from there, you end up going to Snoop Dogg's studio in the hopes that you would get something out of it. Well, she didn't get anything out of it. The whole thing was just a finesse from the beginning. So this woman basically, basically, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you the way Judge Vonda, Vonda what's her name? J, uh, Ex-Judge Vonda, let me see what her last name is. Judge Vonda Evans. Judge Vonda Evans. I'm going to tell you, now, a lot of people don't like Judge Vonda Evans because she, is, she you know, she basically lost her job uh, for some corruption. That's just the gist of it, right? She never admitted to it, but that's that's the deal, right? But I'm going to tell you like this. You got to you, you gotta get your agreement up front. You know, whatever you were supposed to get out of uh, Don Juan, the Snoop, you should have got all that up front. You know what I mean? Or some sometime shortly after, right? Because basically you were sold a pipe dream and once you realize you were swindled, you realize you can't sue them for basically, you know, well, actually she could, but it'd be illegal, right? Uh, they basically made her a promise, right? They, they gave, well, actually, actually probably even could sue them because they gave her a hope in a motherfucking dream, Right? They gave her a hope in a, in a motherfucking dream. Because what does he say? He says, what does he say here? Put this dress on and come with me to the taping of Snoop Dogg Double G Networks. He allegedly told her he wanted to see if the rapper would make her a weather girl. He told her he wanted to see. So he, he sold you a hope in a dream. You can't arrest a motherfucker for selling you a hope in a dream. Right? So you had no agreement and you to mess around and let Don Juan run up in you for free, right? Because that's how some people think, you know, they think you got to pay up front or whatever. So you let Don Juan run into you for free and 
we don't know if anything happened between you and Snoop Dogg, but you acting like it did. So you probably gave Snoop a BJ for free. And after that, you were cut loose. That's, you just got played. <laughs> you just got played. And you can't sue a motherfucker for being played. But she can sue him for other issues, right? She can sue him for other reasons. And I think that's what this is. I think this, this basically has a subtext. From what I understand, she's suing for these official things, alleged assault and trafficking, right? Because she's accusing uh, Don Juan as a trafficker, right? Uh, and she's basically going to try to allege, probably, maybe, I don't know, that Snoop Dogg somehow assaulted her. Or I guess she's going to say Don Juan assaulted her and trafficked her, right? So I would say those are the legitimate things, right? I would say those were legitimate things, but it's going to be tricky because we're going to have to look at the definition of assault and we're going to have to look at the definition of trafficking. Uh, I'm not saying that Don Juan didn't do that, right? I'm not saying Don Juan didn't do that. Don Juan very may well have done that because Don Juan is a pimp and this is what he does for, for a living, right? So, but here's the thing. She know that Snoop has got a free BJ and Snoop didn't pay what she thought Snoop, what she was told Snoop was going to pay. So officially she couldn't sue Snoop, right? But she's throwing Snoop in, the, in, in there anyway. And she's probably going to allege that Snoop had a relationship with Don Juan who basically finessed her and trafficked her, right? And basically, you know, Snoop, uh, got away with a free BJ, right? So I don't know. We, we, we're gonna have to see if this acts. What happens with this? Because to be honest with you, I started off reading this article uh, on one from one perspective, and that perspective was that none of this sound right, and it was just BS, right? And I got to see the lawsuit too. But now, as I read it under a different paradigm. I do realize that the article, the facts and articles lines up with uh, alleged assault, right? And trafficking. Let me not say the facts, right? Because some of the facts don't make sense. So the assault part, actually, I don't see where it actually happened. I did say early in the video that she was assaulted, but it doesn't, it sounds like an exchange. It sounds like there was probably, and again, they don't tell us a lot in this article, right? Um, the article doesn't even say that she was, uh, yeah, hold on a second. Does the article say she was assaulted? Let me see when the first incident happened. Uh, Jane, who worked for, okay, hold on a second. And uh, let's see here. Doe fell asleep in the car. Okay. Yeah, so it, okay. Yeah, it says, uh, Kemp Bell, uh, by Kemp Bell forcing his business parts into her face and mouth. So that's where the first incident of assault could be alleged, right? And then, uh, basically, the next incident is in the bathroom. And he says, uh, you know, he removed his business parts. He says, put this in your mouth. Afraid. And this is where the second incident of assault could have been alleged. But they don't say assault. They don't say assault in this article. Maybe it's in the lawsuit. Maybe it's not. So I'm just going to say that she probably has a claim against Don Juan for alleged assault and trafficking. She probably has a claim, right? Uh, but Don Juan probably ain't got no real money. I, I don't know what he has, but he just reminds me of those uh, fake broke pimps. You know, they, they go to uh, the dollars, not the dollars, they go to a rummage sale and get they, their costumes. And uh, then for like, you know, 10 or 15 dollars they clean it up and shine it up and then you know they they you know pick up uh people and, and try to uh you know try to flex or whatever so he just reminds me of a, a a broke pimp not a fake pimp but a broke pimp so i don't think he got no serious money the person that has money is snoop dog but snoop dog in my own personal opinion from reading this article 
what did his Snoop Dogg do? He didn't he didn't pick your ass up and take you. He didn't invite you over to the VIP. Don Juan invited you. He didn't take you to the studio. Don Juan took you to the studio, right? And then you give us some vague details of how <laughs> uh, about some uh, alleged supposed BJ with Snoop, but. You don't give us any, any any real details, nothing of substance to make us believe any of this. So, from what I'm reading this article, motherfucking Snoop really isn't liable for any of this. Uh, but Don Juan is liable. Uh, but Don Juan don't have any money. So, you want to get Snoop for getting a free BJ, right? If he even really got the BJ. You guys let me know what you think. Questions, comments below. And please share this video. If you like this video, please share it.